Now look at you. You made it. Once again, we're just making this a weekly thing. Yo, man, I'm Kevin Robinson Jr. And uh, this is my YouTube channel. You feel me? So if you like anything I say here today, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that sub button. I see a lot of people watching this that aren't subscribed, watching this every single week. I see you in the analytics. Yo, it takes one second. Bam, sub. Let's get into it. We only gonna sip of this green tea and we'll get right into it, dog. That's good shit. All right, man, so look. I talk a lot about being a better version of yourself here on this channel, all right? And uh, today is no different. The episode today is The Boss Chronicles from Ashy to Classy. The Boss Chronicles from Ashy to Classy. Literally, you can literally go from being dusty, not having your shit together, to changing your whole life just with your mindset. Look, man, anything that you want to do in life, bro, you want to be a millionaire, you want to make $10,000 option trading within three months, you want to lose some weight, you want to be uh, anything, anything like this. It's going to take work, but for more than that, more than action, it's going to take the mindset, all right? So this is for guys and girls men and women who are bosses, five star, you dig? Now, what do you got, ex so these are gonna be four different proverbs, four different things you need to live by and you can expect from being your own boss. Number one, you gotta expect the goofy shit in life, man. You gotta expect goofy shit. You know how sometimes people say shit like, I, I was surprised that so-and-so did this. I never would have thought. Look, man, when you street smart, one thing the streets teaches you, it ain't even gotta be the streets, you just might be, one thing people teach you is that the average person is very deceptive and in life, whatever it looks like is generally the complete opposite, all right? So a lot of times people project things that they are not and, uh, a lot of times people are surprised when somebody does something shady. Now, goofy shit, if you a square motherfucker, goofy is bad. So goofy would be like square shit, uh, lame shit, um, unhonorable things. So in life, you learn to expect when you are a boss, you expect the goofy shit. Don't be surprised when somebody switch up on you. Don't be surprised um, you gotta realize this, man. People do things for their own self-preservation. Number one, their own self-preservation. So, you know, morals aren't thing isn't something that is taught to everybody. Everybody ain't got morals. You know, some people are just selfish. You gotta learn how to not take business personally. It's something I had to learn in my twenties. I used to try to translate a lot of the street shit into business. And I had to go to realize that, you know, you can't take your feelings into where you make your money. You dig? So expect goofy shit in life. You feel me? Number two. So you got to know how to decipher friends, enemies, and allies. There's a big difference between the three. So... Your friend is somebody that you have a commonality with. Now for me, my friends and my allies are very similar. But for me, a friend is someone that I treat like a brother or a sister. You gotta know me for years. Like literally, I can be cool with you as an associate or an ally of mine for three, four years before I even consider you a friend. And to some people that might sound crazy, but when I was younger, I used to make friends really fast and it fucked me over. 
a few times. So I've had to learn, you know, to be, look, man, I'll be cool with you. We can go hang out, whatever. But it's going to take some real shit for me to consider you a friend. Now, an enemy is just the opposite of that, right? The funny thing about this one is best friends can become strangers. Now, I said that shit in a message. It's real. Your best friend can become strangers. Your best friend can become an enemy. Um, and an ally can be the best friend in the world. The funny thing you I realized when I had my podcast, Kevin A. Tip Hop, years ago, is my greatest allies or some of my greatest supporters were complete fucking strangers. Like, you watching this right now, you're supporting me, whether you think you're not a, whether you think you are or not, you're supporting me. You taking your time out of your life to watch this video is helping me. You did? So that leads into this. A network of bosses is important to growing wealth. So once you can learn to decipher who your friends, your enemies, and your allies, and then with friends, never do business with your friends. Never. Never do business with friends or family. All right? If somebody's an ally of yours and you've been doing business and then eventually they become a friend, that's different. I'm talking about somebody who you met and, you know, your, your, your friend is just a friendship. No money exchange. Do not do, do not let them borrow money. None of that shit. Trust me. I have friendships that have been destroyed over money. And like I said, you need a network of bosses in order to grow wealth. Number three, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do me a favor. I'll take a sip of green tea again. That's good shit. Number three, be realistic about your weaknesses. No ego tripping, bro. Don't gas yourself. Remember, remember Jay-Z, Hovey baby? Who's gassing them? I'm an OG. You know what I'm saying? Look, man. Don't gas yourself, bro. Don't suck your own dick. Ladies, don't eat your own pussy. Don't gas yourself. Don't look in the mirror and you see Superman and you know you ain't really Superman or Superwoman. Be realistic about who you are right now and who you want to be. You feel me? If you want to be, if who you are right now is not who you want to be, you got to be realistic. You don't want to be the person, and I know especially right now, we live in this world of intersectionality and um, body positivity and all this crazy shit. So basically, you can't call a spade a spade no more. If you're looking for uh, any of that inverted Orwellian bullshit, you in the wrong place. Look, man, I know my weaknesses. I know I cuss so much. I know I can drink too much. I know I can eat too much. I know I can be a fucking asshole. I know all that shit. But what do I need to do to get better? Recognize my weaknesses and what can I do to make them better? You got weaknesses too. When you walk around like your weaknesses are really strengths, you're delusional and you can't get better and you'll start to digress. Last one, number four. So now that you know that you have weak, you have, uh, you know, to expect goofy shit, you know, who your friends, enemies and allies are, and you know that you got to be realistic about your weaknesses. Number four, you got two choices, man. You could have massive productivity, massive productivity and very few friends, or you can have hella friends and no productivity in your life. My last video, I talked about how when I was in my 20s, I wasted a lot of time, a lot of time going out, partying. I wasn't being productive. And I would sit here and just talk about what I wanted to do. And I was pipe dreaming. I had to literally pull back, really recognize what are your weaknesses? Oh, you like to drink. Get your ass out the bar. Oh, you like to do this, you like to do that. 
in order for me to become massively productive like I have been in the last couple of years, I've self-published three books. I have I had a podcast for seven years that was in the top 100 U.S. charts in um, philosophy. I've launched multiple businesses. Some have failed, I'm not going to lie to you, but, you know, I've done well. I option trade, I do crypto, I work out. I'm a great husband. I'm a great cook. I'm a great brother. Um, in order for me to become as productive as, as I have, I had to um, get around people who were bosses and realize like those times in my life when I had a lot of friends that weren't doing anything, I didn't have no productivity. So you got to decide, do you want to have a whole lot of friends and not be very productive? And when you pass on, nobody remember you? Because when you leave this earth, the things that are last is your legacy. And your legacy isn't just about the money you make, it's about the work that you put in on this earth that you can leave. You know, Kevin Samuels just passed away and he left a legacy of incredible content on here on YouTube. You know, productivity is important, very important. So you gotta decide, do you wanna be a person that's gonna be forgotten, that didn't produce anything? Or do you wanna be a person with very few friends that's got massive productivity, all right? These are the Boss Chronicles. Like, share, comment. Peace and love.